How long the electrical take you to do? I mean, completely removing like mental thought. Yeah. Beforehand, physical work was probably. I'm gonna say 75 to 100 hours. That's what I think. Including like building the mounting panel, laying it out, right? Everything. That, that's pretty much spot on. And I've been sleeping in a van. My I name is. Hold on, Kenny, you gotta do. <laughs> My name is Colin. And I've been sleeping in a van. A man with a van has a plan. Okay, this is part two. Part one was probably about, uh, let me get uh, the motorcycle go away. Part one was about a month ago. He stopped in here on his road trip from picking up this beautiful Sprinter van to pick up his electrical components. He went home, he spent about three weeks, four weeks, two, Thanks. six weeks. I'm not good at counting, six weeks building out this van from scratch. Took about, the electrical is about 75 to 100 hours. Yeah. And it's a van for a man, a lady, and two dogs. So let's take a look inside and let's go further with two dogs and see how they, they roll the bad lanes. Well, those kennels are nice, right? Yeah, they're safe. They're safe. <laughs> they're safe. They work good. I'm pretty oh, sure they're crash proof. You have the air conditioner on right now. Yeah. You're rolling the AC. Yeah. This is the good. RTX 2000 in here. Yep. And did you make this mount or you bought that mount? Um, the bezel is purchased. You hear that AC up there just rocking and rolling? And it's yeah. coming out pretty well. Do I you... mean, we're sitting, we're still in sun. It's 100 yeah. out here and it's keeping it 70 down by the kennels. So you're saying it's 100 degrees outside right now. I mean, it is definitely 100 and it's 70 by the kennels. Do you keep a temperature sensor down here? I've got a high low sensor right there. So like most of our customers are dog, dog owners, right? Yeah. And so the best thing that I can do is I always tell them it's never gonna cool down their dog. You know, I undersell the shit out of this thing, right? So from your perspective, like what advice could you give somebody who's trying to do this? Because it all comes down to safety for these two. For sure. I never really took into consideration, you're the one that made me realize, like in, you're not cooling down outside air, you're cooling down what's in the car, right? So I insulated this thing real good and did a test. I took these high-low tracking, mm -hmm. put one in my Nissan and one in this after I'd insulated it sitting in the same sun for five hours this thing was 92 degrees and the nissan was 140. so that made me no way dead. so car interiors are always like way way hotter than the outside yeah air. so I, that adjusted my expectations quite a bit because i'm thinking like okay it's never gonna i'm never gonna open this and it's gonna be 65 degrees in here yeah and it's you know 85 plus outside but was the air conditioner running for that test? Or no, no, no. no. okay. Nothing. So 100 degrees, 140 in the car, 92 in here, well insulated. Correct. Window curtains? I don't think I even have the Okay, curtains, so. all right. So the insulation makes a big deal. For sure. I, I only stress tested it once before we left, and I left it at like 50% charge and just turned it on full blast and walked away. And four hours later, I came back and it was off. It was at like 4%. Okay. So I haven't gotten a good like, run test full 100 percent down yeah but i wouldn't think twice about leaving them for three to four hours so, before, so guys this is a pretty interesting build and the, the reason why is like everything in here is done for functionality right we used the original headliner that was in here saved a ton of time and a ton of money and it looks seamless in here it's most vans come with it but if it doesn't it's a very cheap upgrade to get and then you put the lights, the 12 volt lights in the existing headliner. Everything's built in from there. So the only thing you then had to do was build these walls right here, basically. Yeah. Yeah, as far as interior panels go, the only thing that was sort of custom built were the wall panels and of course the, the cutout over the wheel wall that mounted all the electronics. Oh yeah. So guys, the, this air conditioner is running. This is the, Noma the Domatic RTX 2000. You have the Servo GX touch controller yeah. up there. Let's see what it's at a hundred degrees outside what month is this june july what is may. it may. may may the end of may it's a hundred degrees in phoenix it's 639 watts with your window curtains up what's the temp in here would you say if you gave it a guesstimate with this 78 78 with this rtx 2000 so that's a 25 de degree delta 
in a hundred degree heat. You have to remember that you, you, in this sort of application, you want to turn the air conditioner on before the interior temperature of this reaches 140. Bad time to turn it on because then we're cooling it from 140 down to 70. That's just going to crush your batteries. What we want to do is turn it on in the morning when it's hit 70 and then ride the wave up and then you can ride it back down. Remember, if you're going further in comfort, ride the wave. Okay, Kenny, cut that out of there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Container, which isn't even that nicely built, that took three hours. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. So you it made like, that? You bent yeah. it all up? Yep. So you even get it like fixed in there? No, that looks great. Three months traveling. They're just going to be spending the next three months traveling around from place to place. They're going to send me text, mes text messages from all the places they go, and I'm going to be stuck right here in Phoenix, Arizona, dying, uh, not happy. We have officially gone further in comfort over here with Nomadic Cooling with the RTX 2000 from Dometic. With the Nomadic Cooling, is it a 3.0 electrical kit and a Dometic RTX 2000 air conditioner? And they, with these beautiful puppies, will be spending the next three months crossing the globe. And by the globe, I do mean America, from the west to the east, and then back again. Uh, if you have any questions about how they achieve this cold air technology super ship, uh, go ahead and uh, give us a call over here at Nomadic Cooling. Actually, we're super busy right now, so if you could drop us an email, that'd be great. We don't have enough people to answer the phone. And if you're out there and you don't have a job and you don't suck, give us a call. We'll give you a job today. Let's go.